One of the most interesting projects that I've had the pleasure of working on is this interactive piece commissioned by the Morris Museum in Morristown, New Jersey. As an educational outreach project that would be integrated into science, technology, engineering, art, and math curricula, the museum offered the challenge to design and build an interactive exhibit that would especially appeal to middle school children. The result is as you see here. The piece stands roughly 7 feet high by 40 inches wide, featuring a display full of various operable mechanisms, each one controlling a different feature of a dragon monster puppet above. Along with this, I provided a comprehensive folio of drawings and explanations making connections to underlying concepts. The first mechanism turns the head via a cable controlled bell crank and reciprocating rod. The pivot point of the bell crank can be moved in order to adjust the range of the head's motion. The dragon's eyes shift from side to side by means of two mechanisms, one being inside the head with a bell crank and four bar linkage controlled by a cable. The cable is attached to a large spur gear on the panel below. This main gear connects with additional gears so that changing which one is driven changes the speed of the moving eyes. A chain of links connects the dragon's lower jaw to a cam operated mechanism. The cam follower can be repositioned to translate three different profiles. The dragon's wings flapping is controlled by an eccentric cam and levers. The amount they move is the product of the position of the cam axle with respect to the lever's pivot. Finally, the dragon's tail curls and straightens. Inside, a series of segments are linked, each part of a spring and pulley system that responds to the tension of a cable. When pulled taut, the links straighten out and vice versa. Below, the cable ends at a combining link that enables a pair of mechanisms to share control of the cable. One is a simple spur gear which tensions and releases the cable in a smooth continuous motion. The other is a Geneva mechanism which converts the continuous motion of the hand crank into an intermittent one thereby moving the tail in discrete steps.